Today, most modern cars have become close in terms of technical characteristics and reliability. A stylish design will help you stand out from your classmates, as, for example, in the case of the Peugeot 407. The model replaced the legendary Peugeot 406, which was distinguished by good consumer and driving qualities. It was, however, quite affordable. The successor with the 407 Index has become technically more advanced and, most importantly, more expressive in appearance, while maintaining the price attractiveness of its predecessor. The Peugeot 407 was produced in a range of modifications that has already become traditional for this model, a sedan, a stylish SW station wagon and an elegant coupe. All of these versions have received an additional bonus, a stunning design, which will certainly be a decisive factor in favor of choosing this car. On the Russian market there are many copies brought from Europe, but dealer cars are more common. The absolute majority of Peugeot 407 sedans in the secondary Russian market. Moreover, the choice of presented cars is huge. You can, for example, pick up both an affordable 1.8-liter version with a manual gearbox and a variant with AB6 on an automatic. Apparently, the stereotypes of our motorists are gradually changing. Today, the stylish station wagon Peugeot 407 accounts for about a quarter of the total number of offers on the market. Previously, its predecessor with the 406 index accounted for about 5 to 8 percent. The used 407 is attractive in terms of equipment. For example, the Russian versions of Peugeot in the standard, dynamic version, came with six airbags, ABS with a dynamic stabilization system, climate control, electric front windows and heated mirrors, a CD radio and fog lights. In the secondary market, there are more often instances additionally equipped with alloy wheels, full power accessories and xenon headlights. Expensive versions of the car can boast a leather interior, an automatic, electric front seats, a driver's knee airbag and a sunroof. The elegant 407 coupe in the range of modifications appeared almost two years after the premiere of the sedan. Only the most powerful 2.2 liter, 163 horsepower, and V6, 211 horsepower, gasoline engines in the range were installed on the coupe, as well as 2 liter turbo diesels, 136 horsepower, and a 2.7 liter V6, 204 HP engine. In the engine range there were four petrol engines with a volume of 1.8 liters, 125 horsepower, 2 liters, 140 horsepower, 2.2 liters, 163 horsepower, and a 2.9 liter V6, 211 horsepower. And the same number of diesel engines, from 1.6 to 2.7 liters, 100 to 204 horsepower. We have, as always, the most in-demand gasoline engines. The standard transmission is a 5-speed mechanics, and a 6-speed was combined with 2.2-liter engines and a 2-liter turbo diesel. For engines over 140 horsepower 4, or 6-band, automatic, were offered. Motors are generally reliable, however, provided that you have to put up with their high oil consumption, up to 300 to 500 grams per 1,000 kilometers. This applies mainly to 4-cylinder engines. They also have short-lived upper engine mounts, 3,200 rubles. If you drive for a long time with such a malfunction, the lower support will soon wear out. After 100,000 km of run, the hydraulic bearings in the valve drive fail, which is indicated by interruptions in the operation of the motor. The coolant pump on the 2-liter is best changed along with the timing belt every 90,000 km often on this motor. The operation of the check engine signaling device is accompanied by a drop in traction or engine trimming. There can be many reasons from the failure of candles or individual ignition coils to the death of an oxygen sensor, 3,100 rubles, a catalyst or a mass airflow sensor, 3,000 rubles. A 2.2-liter engine with two balancer shafts and adjustable intake valve timing, VTC, is noisy and idle. V6 is highly praised, it is almost devoid of congenital diseases. Transmission in a generally strong mechanical box, sometimes a damper counterweight blocks the manual gearbox lever, but the 4-speed, automatic, AL4 is a headache for the owners of the 407. The mechanical part of the box serves at least 200,000 kilometers, but the valve body and control electronics sometimes start to fail after 80,000 kilometers. On the move, this is accompanied by shocks in the transmission. If everything stops after the ignition is turned off, then repair of the box can still be avoided by changing the oil and ref lashing the control unit. Otherwise, the bulkhead of the machine 
will cost at least 25,000 rubles. Jerks when shifting gears are the first symptom of a worn-out hydraulic valve block. Replacement costs an average of 17,000 rubles. Russian dealers sold the Peugeot 407 in a rather rich standard configuration. True, the navigation system was not installed on our cars even for an additional fee. This option was exclusive to European versions. The beautiful instruments of the 407 lack contrast, and in the daytime they glare and are hard to read. In fairness, we note that the six-speed, automatic machines from Eisen were not seen in such troubles. In the base, the car was equipped with a combined practical fabric upholstery with excellent friction properties. Chassis and body. The Peugeot 407 was equipped with a fully independent suspension. In front, instead of the usual McPherson struts, there are double wishbones. This scheme is rarely used on production models, and at the rear there is a multi-link design with a passive steering effect. As a result, the car combined high smoothness and excellent handling. Many customers bought the 407 because of its excellent driving performance. In addition, the suspension turned out to be surprisingly strong and not so expensive. Only wheel bearings, 6,000 rubles each, are reputed to be not very reliable in it, which can withstand an average of 50 to 60,000 kilometers. The steering rack does not differ in durability either. Its repair, from 20,000 rubles, may be required for up to 100,000 kilometers. The remaining elements of the chassis withstand the average time. Racks, 2,500 rubles, and bushings, 900 rubles per pair, of the stabilizer cost 30 and 60,000 kilometers, respectively. Shock absorbers, an average of 4,500 rubles apiece, have a service life of about 100,000 kilometers. Restyling in 2008 barely noticeably updated the headlights and air intake. There are also chrome moldings on the sides and new rear LED lights. Peugeot 407 is indifferent to corrosion. Only after three to four years of operation do chip paintwork appear on the hood, wheel arches, and sills. From driving on our roads, the muffler clamp is soldered and falls off. Cheap repair, about 1500 rubles. In winter, the trunk lid lock freezes, the button of which is disguised as the number zero of index 407. Many more car owners complained about the low ground clearance. The passage of speed bumps with the full load is accompanied by a strike at the bottom on the asphalt, as well as a too long front overhang. 